this, my child. Slow down. You eat too fast. You don't want to harm poor Carlin. We need to feed to get stronger. When Montclair shows up, I want to be ready. That is not our way, child, and you know it. Stop feasting, now. Fine, whatever. I mean, I'm sorry, Count Verandas. You know I only want to help. Of course, my child. Now, let's clear away our meal and welcome our friend. Colin, as always, I thank you for sharing your life's blood with us. I live to please, my lord. I apologize if the scene before you makes you uh, uncomfortable. I did not expect you to arrive during our mealtime. As for why I kept my true nature hidden, well, let's just say that Emmerich insisted, and one does not refuse the High King lightly. Well, I've been called far worse, but I prefer to think of myself and my companions as gifted. We are not ashamed of our condition. We are not monsters. Now, this is the part where you gasp and ask calmly, how can I trust you? The High King is a wise man, which is why I supported him and not the Mad King Ronsa. We all have the ability to make our own decisions. Long ago, I decided to live in peace with the mortal world, not feast upon it. You were able to drive off Rizal Jewel and take back Shornhelm. Those were no small feats, I assure you. But Emmerich needs our help to restore Rivenspire's tranquility. You need to understand. There is more to Montclair than simple ambition. Walk with me and I will explain. There is much I need to show you and time grows short. Adusha, please make sure Gwen behaves herself. Poor Carlin needs time to recover. The little one gets no dessert this evening. Adusa will make sure. To understand the path that Montclair follows, you must understand how he came to walk upon it. I believe the key to stopping him hides within my own memories. Memories are elusive shadows, hiding truths behind our own perceptions. But what if someone else could examine them, hmm? What would they see that we do not? I'd like to try something, if you're willing. Uh, this potion will allow you to dream walk through my memories. Perhaps your eyes will see what I have missed. I would never bring an outsider into my memories if I didn't believe it was imperative. The memories we will revisit, they are... painful for me. It is with a heavy heart that I ask you to embark upon this journey with me. I'll ask your questions then, I will answer what I can. Well, I think it will harm you, rest assured. The mixture contains various herbs, dusk nectar, and a few drops of my blood. But don't worry, it takes more than a little blood to turn someone into a vampire. Then we learn nothing new. Montclair continues his campaign, and Rivenspire eventually falls. It is inevitable. Please, as you will see, I have blind spots where Montclair is concerned. I need a fresh perspective to determine our next moves. They know me too well, and they are used to acquiescing to my will. They don't have the perspective, the distance, to see beyond what I saw. I need someone who has proven their worth. A relative stranger that I can trust. I must say, it's rather strange seeing you as... me. Mother... Please, you have to take the medicine. Rizal Jewel no. can help you. Sweet daughter. I, I can't go on like this. I don't want to spend my final days as an experiment. Instead, let me spend them with the ones I love. Even in retrospect, reliving this is difficult. Her pain, her suffering. She had so much courage. There has to be something more we can do. Ferrandis, can I talk to you for a moment? Layla doesn't have much time. I know it. She knows it. She's trying to be so strong, but... I swore I would never ask this of you. It goes against everything I believe in. 
But damn it. She's my wife. I don't want to lose her. I know, I know. You swore an oath. No one should ever have to endure the things you've gone through because of what you are. But you're alive. That's more than my wife will be if you don't help her. You can't make that decision for her. Neither can I. But you can give her a chance. I know you care about her. You can't just stand there and watch her die. Thank you. I know she'll make the right decision. She may no longer be the woman I know, but at least she'll be alive. She'll be with me. I can still love her. My dear friend, Verandas, I'm glad you're here. You've always been so good to our family. I... I never really thanked you for that. Verandas, after I'm gone, you need to continue to watch over my family. Wylan will need your strong, steadying presence more than ever. No, my friend, your gift isn't the solution. Not for me. I refuse to accept an existence that forces me to watch as my children my husband, everyone I know, ages before my eyes. Something is wrong. I have vague recollections of talking to someone else, but why can't I remember? You need to look around, see what we missed. This is hopeless. Baron Montclair forces me to mix concoctions that I know won't do any good. If he just listened to me, I could show him exactly how to heal his wife and end her suffering. I'm talking about knowledge and ancient magic. I'm talking about the forgotten arts of the aliens themselves. Would you deny Our Lady any chance for a cure, no matter what the source? I happen to possess an alien relic, or at least a shard from one. But the Baron won't listen to me, especially since Our Lady started refusing my help. If I give you this stone, will you present it to the Baron? He listens to you, my friend. I knew I could count on you, Veranda's Raven Watch. Without your help, my friend, I would have never recalled that Rizal Jewel led us to the alien relic. What else have I forgotten, I wonder? Three cheers for Verandis! He gave me the means to save my beautiful wife. Yes, to our dear friend Verandis. How can we ever repay him? He is great, isn't he? And so handsome. But I want to cheer about this wine. By the divines, this stuff is we delicious! We were so happy at this moment. We were all together. Friends and family. Enjoying each other's company. For the final time. Verandas, may I speak to you for a moment? Alone? I... I don't recall speaking with Layla. Why can't I remember that? Rizal Jewel knew about the alien relic the entire time. He convinced me to give it to Wylan. Why didn't I remember that? And this memory. I recall our celebration, the toasts, but this moment, talking to Layla. I don't remember that happening. As I now recall, Rizal Jewel gave me a shard, a, a piece of an alien relic. I presented it to Montclair, and he, in turn, used it to heal his wife. In less than a day, Layla was recovering and on her feet again. It was nothing short of miraculous. Not exactly. It helped, but I can't remember why. We were here, celebrating Layla's improved condition when... And that's all I can recall. I'm sure the key is hidden in my memories. Please, explore this moment and see what you can learn. My lord, my count, your highness, 
Oh, who cares? We don't need to stand on ceremony. Not us! Me and good old Verandas showing the world how vampires are supposed to behave. I consumed all of it. Well, at least all that was given to me. Anything less would just be rude. So, Verandas, my friend, my confidant, what say we slip away someplace a little more private and bring the rest of that delicious wine? Was that a rebuke? I was rebuked by the high and mighty Count Ravenwatch. Yes, I believe I was. I think you should walk away now, before I say something else that at least one of us will regret. Count Verandas, hello. It's mm, good to see you. Hope you're well. God, what am I saying? Of course you're well. You're a vampire. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't mind me. Must have had a little too much wine. Right as rain. Now the mother's back on her feet. I was thinking. I wanted to find a way to thank you for all you've done for us. Maybe next time you're in Shornhelm, I can make you a nice meal. I... Oh. <laughs> By the divines. How embarrassing. Well... How about you feed on me instead? Oh, can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Pardon me while I slip away and find Riza Jewel. Maybe he has a potion I can drink to make me forget this awkward moment. Verandis, my friend. You really must allow your charges to get out and have a little fun every now and then. Poor Gwendis here is having a splendid time, but it's like she's never tasted a fine wine before. Why not pull up a chair and join us? Oh, not that again, Verandis. And especially not now. We're having a celebration. Layla is on the mend. She's getting well. I have my wife back. And it's all thanks to that remarkable piece of stone you gave me. What does that matter? If not for you, I would never have attempted to use such magic to heal Layla. Besides, Rizal Jewel will be rewarded for his service. I'll see to that personally. He was always bringing me tinctures and alchemical concoctions. It was one wild plan after another with him. It always is. But because of your quick thinking, we applied the power of the stone. And now, we're celebrating our success! Better? Yes, but she's not fully healed as yet. It's just a matter of time, I'm sure, but... She's out of bed. She's even painting again. She hasn't done that in... Oh, I can't remember how long. Soon, it will be as if nothing had ever happened. My good Verandas, it wouldn't be a day if you weren't concerned about something. It's your nature. Now stop asking such bleak questions and just be thankful this relic fell into our hands. It's helping. That's all that matters. Brandis, you mustn't say anything. Please. I I'm sure this will... This will pass. I just need the stone. Another treatment and I I'll be fine. Just a little dizziness. A little discomfort. It must be all this activity lately. Verandas, I don't think the stone shard is powerful enough. It helps... But it doesn't last. And now... I feel... empty. I can't explain it. No, you leave him be. He's happy now. I... I can't stand to see him worried. Sitting beside my bed. Helpless. Consumed with grief. Not again. The stone shard. It's obviously a part of something larger. Could that be the cure we're looking for? Talk to the Argonian. See what he's found out. We need to find the larger relic. Or at least another shard of stone. I hate to ask, but I need you to do this one last favor. For Wylan. For me. I knew I could count on you.
dear friend. No. I need to compose myself and return to the party. But I think I'll go to sleep early this evening. I'm sure I just need a little more rest. Fascinating, isn't it? To think that such a tiny rock could hold so much power. Can you feel it? It's like it's calling to me, like the moon's call to the tides. Imagine what the relic it came from could do. The Baron wasn't listening to me. We needed someone he trusted more, had more faith in. That someone was you, Count Verandis. Now the Baroness is on the mend, and House Montclair has returned to a state of contented bliss. Well, that's unfortunate, but it is only a small piece of a grander relic, isn't it? I've been studying the Iliad manuscripts. There may be more we can do for the poor Baroness. I found the stone among the effects of King Ranser's royal historian, back when I served in Ranser's court. She had quite an intriguing collection, including the Iliad manuscripts that I've been translating. Perhaps you can check my work. The manuscripts are locked away, but I left my notes in your library. A few phrases stood out as I translated, life, death, crag. I'm sure they mean something. Take a look and see what you think. Perhaps the text can lead us to the greater relic. Remember now, the translation, we, we, we misinterpreted it. We assumed the crag housed a powerful healing artifact, but we were wrong. The hillside community, though, why didn't I ever look into that? Not exactly, not yet, but I will figure this out. In the meantime, there is one more memory I want you to explore. We ascended the Doom Crag, and that's where everything changed. A perilous peak that rises from the mountains to the north. It has always been a haunted, desolate place. Look for anything I may have missed, but more, I want you to see what happened to Montclair. I want you to understand why he must be stopped. We shouldn't have left the guards behind, Wylan. Who knows what else we're going to run into? There was no choice, Mother. You're getting worse, and we can't wait for them. I'll stay here and protect the way out. Keep watch in case the guards catch up with us. The rest of you need to keep moving. Thank you, Gwendis. At least you retain a sense of honor. Stop blaming Verandas. This wasn't his fault. to stand in our way. Layla, wait until we clear the way.
Mother doesn't have much time left. Animated bones. Why do they seek to keep us from the relic? Are they the lingering remains of the aliens who once dwelled here, do you think? Well, they won't stop me. No matter what their reasons are, my cause is greater. I have never been more sure of anything in my life, Ferrandis. I will sacrifice everything, risk anything to save the woman I love. A shame the same can't be said of all of us. You did what Layla wanted? What about what I wanted? You allowed her to talk you out of it when I expressly asked you to turn her! Well, I'm done asking. We're here because of you, and we're going to do exactly as I say. We're going to save my wife. Sorry won't help us here. We have to find the alien relic. That's all that matters now. Just remember, we're out of options. This is our last chance to save Layla, and I won't let you ruin it, vampire! The power we seek is close. I can feel it. What a magnificent structure! The relic this monolith houses must be powerful indeed! behind us. The power we seek is close. I can feel it. The relic is beyond this door. We've done it. We've reached the top of the Doom Crag. Now we can finally learn the secret of the ancient alien relic and save my wife. Your fear colors your perception, Verandis. It is merely the pulse of ancient magicka, the heartbeat of a powerful relic. Our intentions are pure. We seek only to save my beloved's life. These creatures have no reason to stop us. Has your courage deserted you, vampire? You discovered the relic's resting place, and I thank you for that. But right now, we have to reach the relic chamber and save my wife. After that, you can do what you want. Now, let's go. By the eight! Can you feel the relic's power, Verandis? Enough of your constant mewling, Verandis! Are you a vampire or a scullery maid? This is exactly what we've been looking for. You told me yourself. The alien texts refer to Lata, the Light. This is it! This is what will cure Layla! We don't know why the aliens did a lot of things. 
They were a strange people. But that won't stop us. Stand back and watch for all I care. But we're going to save my wife. I'll risk my life. My very soul to help my dear Layla. Now, let's begin. Have no fear, my darling Layla. Soon the light will wash away it's your It's going to work, Baron. The power of this ancient alien remnant. It's almost overwhelming. You're going to be alright, Mother. Just hold on. The remnant will make you like new, my love. You'll be reborn! Something's happening. I feel the power! Something feels... wrong. Verandis, we need you! We need your power! Quickly! Touch the relic and help us! Anya Belda Sankre! What's happening to us? It's working. It's working. Soon the power will be ours to command. No. What? Uh, what have you done? This isn't me. Uh, I... I never wanted this. Please, Verandas. Help me. Make it stop. Uh, I... I can't stand the pain! End this, Verandas. End this before I... No! Verandas! What did you do to Layla? What did you do? You'll pay for that vampire! I have the power now. Nothing can stop me from reaching out and snapping! Verandis? Montclair, no! Come on, Verandas. We need to get out of here. Remarkable. What a strange sensation of new recollections and old. I believe that Riz al Jewel somehow removed those moments from my memory. But you were able to restore them. And now you understand what we are facing. Disorientation is understandable. Somehow, when I joined the ritual, I altered the power of the relic. I turned Layla into a monster. I had to kill her. And Montclair and the others. They became vampires imbued with the power of the relic. I have Gwendis to thank for that. She pulled me out of there before Montclair and the others were fully recovered. Now, Montclair claims he wants to end death and suffering. That he wants to take the throne of Ronsa. And it's all my fault. The Aeliad text referred to an outpost in the hills. I need to find out where that is. It may be that the answer to defeating Montclair can be found in this hidden location. But first things first. There is a more urgent matter for you to deal with. Now you know how this sordid situation began, and you know how I, to my great and everlasting shame, helped Baron Montclair reach the Lightless Remnant. But now to more immediate matters. I know where Riz al Jewel can be found. Not so fast, my enthusiastic friend. My agents have learned that Riz al Jewel struck in the West and is still in the area. Captain Genevi, Countess Tamrith's younger sister, has established a camp for displaced refugees. She must be warned about this. I had hoped you would make such an offer. Now my instincts tell me that Riz al Jewel allowed the refugees to survive. It's a trap. It has to be. Find the camp and tell the captain what I have learned. Then, help her end this threat once and for all.
While you go to Camp Tamrith and help deal with the Rizal Jewel, I shall look into the gaps in my memory that you helped uncover. There must be something important in the hills to the east. Why else would the Mad Argonian have taken those memories?